be more sexually liberated, and it's not a good thing. Mm, no. Now, can I talk to you about Sam Allardyce? <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> I just want to talk please to you do. about Sam Allardyce. There's, there's a enough. few things I'd like to say about Sam Allardyce. <laughs> Except, uh, well, the main thing I'd like to say is thank you for just <laughs> yeah, being alive, alive and being everything, all that you are. Because there was a period <laughs> around 2003 when we had two players stretched off uh, uh, at uh, the Reebok. <laughs> were they playing at the Reebok then? They were yeah, right, we at the were, Reebok. Yeah, and, we, and we threw away a two-goal lead through utter complacency on the behalf of... Wolves and losing two and players. Yeah. But we had two players stretched off from appalling tackles and they both went unpunished. Mm. And that was around the time when I thought we should take our own sponsored stretcher up to places like that because we could get some money out of it. Mm. And, I, and I hated him. I've always hated the fact that he has 28 packets of gum in his mouth and he never closes it when he's chewing and he just looks revolting and he's slack-jawed, foul, slobbish he wears appearance. wears boxer shorts and scratches his oh, nuts in front of the don't, don't expand on it. What you, what you see already is hideous enough. Yeah. He's a hideous apparition of a human being. But... Oh. And I've always disliked him. But this week, he's made me laugh <laughs> and laugh and laugh. It's given me more joy than any premiership manager yeah, of another club I can even th think of. I mean, really, <laughs> since really since Brian Horton um, told a pack of lies about being gobbed at Brian! by Jesus. Why did you lie, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> and he says that if he was manager of Real Madrid, they'd win the double every season, <laughs> and he could manage Chelsea. And he, and he, this is the most the funniest thing about it for me was he said that Arsene Wenger is very clever. He's noticed that. <laughs> oh, yeah, He's noticed right. that. And he uses the press. He uses the media to try and influence referees. And you know where he said that? In his column in the News of the World. No. So hang on a minute. <laughs> hang, on. Yeah. hang on a minute. Arsene Wenger yeah. answers a question in a press conference, right? A direct question. Put to him. Or he, might, he uses his programme notes to say he thinks that there could be uh, video evidence used on a particularly bad tackle to have retrospective mm. bans for players who made bad fouls. Not a bad and idea. And he's talking generally not about Arsenal, just not it's just about well, it was, say, it was yeah. That was specifically motivated but by... But he did uh, say reckless tackling, not tackling per not se. Not tackling per se. Reckless. The tackle of Robinson yeah. on Diaby was a shocker. And that was a scary one for Diaby because he's already had one of those in his career and missed a year. And another one of those, if it was on the same ankle, that could finish his career. That was a bad, <laughs> bad, over-the-top foul. It was a shocking <laughs> foul by Robinson and it went completely unpunished. Play, play was waved on. Uh, was it or was it a free kick? Now there was a big melee uh, no, around the melee, ball, weren't they? Yeah, so yeah. Maybe, maybe, but it certainly wasn't a booking. So he, there was a specific incident that said maybe they could. Do, so it's an idea hmm. to have retrospective. So suddenly all the idiot managers in the league who rely on kicking lumps out of people all jump in. But it's the fact that he says he uses the media to try and influence ref in his column in the News of the World <laughs> that made me laugh and laugh and laugh. And he and he wants to be manager of Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> So it's he's gone, right. is you... Arsene Wenger a better coach than me? No, he is not. Does he use, what's I don't know, Prozone or something? Yeah. Does he not? No, he does not. Yeah. Does he use fitness assessments during the game? I don't think so. So he's now got himself in his own mind. Mm -hmm. He's actually not only as good as Arsene Wenger already, yeah. but if he was given the job sure. as Arsenal manager, he would take Arsenal into a whole other dimension it in which we would slaughter <laughs> Barcelona, thrash Chelsea, <laughs> walk away with the league. All we need to do, apparently, is employ Allardyce because he is some sort of superhero. And all I could think about while I was reading it was that film Kick-Ass, <laughs> where the kid puts on a suit and imagines he's got superpowers. <laughs> That's all I think. All I want is for, for Fat Sam to don a big green suit and a bat on. And because and he just reminded me of a delusional maniac <laughs> who thinks he's got superpowers. He's done it very well, to his credit, as a premiership manager over a number of years at clubs with small budgets, getting them in high positions in the league through some pretty basic long balls, set, win the second ball tactics. And that's his, that's his thing. He's done very, very well picking up loan players. He did very, very well with JJ Okocha and people like that when other people wouldn't touch him. Do Gary, Campo. Mm -hmm. He's got a good record. Be proud of what you've done. Then shut up. Then shut up. <laughs> Don't big yourself up in the news of the world by comparing yourself favourably with Arsene Wenger. If anyone's going to compare you with Arsene Wenger, let it be someone else. As you said that rant, he is sitting at home with a mask on, with his pants over his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he dresses up as Gunnosaurus. Who knows? In Sam World. Sam World. Is he that Superman? You see that Superman? Oh, yeah. I he could, could fly. I could go fat. If I was faster than a speeding bullet, <laughs> Mrs. I Allardyce. would go faster than the blast of a nuclear weapon. I would go faster <laughs> than the Hadron Collider. Superman. If I'd have been Winston it's Churchill, the war would have been over in a week. 
It's all Mrs. about Anadise. perception. Because he looks like a superhero. People think he's a superhero. Because I look like a fat, stupid idiot. People think I'm a fat, stupid idiot. It's all about perception with Superman. Mrs. Allardyce is sitting there right now. Like once a, you know, once a night, she's got her friends around, and like she just lets Sam have fat Sam time. When he goes upstairs, dresses up, and says to the mirror, "Caca." <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo, step on the keeper's toes, caca, get a restart, <laughs> track back, caca. And then he comes back downstairs and then she gives him his tea. <laughs> Was it alright today, Sam? Yeah. Casillas, Casillas, <laughs> don't roll it out to the back four, boot it, son. Boot it, get it up. Boot it, caca, win the second ball, fight for the ball. Yeah, the thing is, what you Madridians don't understand... Benzema! Benzema! Stand on the keeper's toes! Run into the keeper, barge him over! No one will notice! And he tried to recruit... He tried don't to recruit look Marquise. at the ball, Benzema! Barge into the keeper! <laughs> Do you see how had you do for the weekend it was awful. on Schwartz? Oh, By the way... From the Lancashire Never Telegraph... Never email me again. Uh, the Lancashire <laughs> Telegraph... <laughs> It says, it's uh, an article by Andy Cryer, Blackburn Rovers reporter. What a laugh. <laughs> Can you imagine watching that every week? I'm going to read you week. the article. I cannot, para- I cannot paraphrase it. Or parody Please it. help I just me. I have to read it out. Here Please go, like, help me. Here. I don't want to watch this read rubbish this. anymore. Sam Allardyce insists he will always be his own man after claiming management is not a job for copycats. And then he says something about he likes Ian Holloway. Allardyce insists you have to be unique to be a manager. He says... I don't see any comparisons between anyone. There is no other Sam Allardyce, it's just the one. There never has been, and never will be, another Sam Allardyce! (laughs) Sam Allardyce doesn't manage like anyone else! Get a restart! (laughs) I am unique! (laughs) In my style of management and who I am! (laughs) And I was very fortunate to be working under some great managers as a player. You played for Bolton when they were crap. Who are you talking about? doesn't name anyone. They always told me never to copy anybody. You can't, because you can't play. You have to do it yourself. You have to do it your way. And then he's going to go... And then I, at this point, I thought he's going to break into my way by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he's quite complimentary about Ian Holloway. But and, the, and himself, actually. Uh, While he's got his pants over his trousers I again. Absolutely Having lovely. Sam time upstairs. There never has Sam been time. and never will be another Sam Allardyce. Now, that's a sentence you can imagine yep. coming out of the mouth of the most blinkered and passionate Blackburn Rovers or Bolton Wanderers fan. But coming out of the mouth of Sam Allardyce... <laughs> when any, whenever, whenever anybody talks about themselves in the third person, you've got to worry about them. You, I, I've written to Larry Ian David, Ian Stone right? doesn't like Sam so, Allardyce. I was going to say, Tyo agrees. <laughs> <laughs> I've written to Larry David, who, who's, uh, as you know, the creator and star of Kirby Enthusiasm, and said, you, this is a guy you need to get on. <laughs> <laughs> on your writing staff, because... <laughs> <laughs> if you want egotism mixed with sledgehammer humour, there's yeah. nobody <laughs> like it. There never has been, there never will be another Sam Allardyce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to talk about yourself in the third person That's is one thing, but to do it again and again and again, he calls himself Sam Allardyce here in three consecutive sentences. <laughs> this is not sweat, this is liquid Sam Allardyce. <laughs> <laughs> The bloke. <laughs> He's an odd guy. He has gone absolutely He's gone mad. Mental. mental. <laughs> next, uh, next manager of Inter Milan, <laughs> I'd say. Oh. He's too good for Inter Milan. <laughs> he is. He's too good. If it'd be too easy for him at Inter Milan. He should be the head of the UN. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a little bit annoyed about um, Ed Miliband, but uh, <laughs> 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 apparently his name wasn't on the ballot. Uh, got a centre forward. <laughs> Um, called John Walters, oh, yeah. who they signed from the championship. I don't know what club. Was it Ipswich? I don't know. He, I saw he him scored. the other day. He scored a goal, didn't he? He scored, scored the winning goal against Blackburn, who were managed, of course, by the unique, the one and only, <laughs> Real Madrid's next manager in waiting. The one and only, aside from the grandson. The one and only, <laughs> apart from my grandson, <laughs> Fat Sam Allardyce. Uh, the, 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 uh, the lovely thing about that is that uh, Walters was uh, dumped by Allardyce in a previous life, down the Divisions Brilliant. and he's come back to haunt him. <laughs>